Timestamps are in the description below. If you decide to click on one, it will take you to the news article of your choice. Hello everyone, it's Stephen Clark and friends, Johnny Siam and Mark Loveridge at the moment, wherever you are, good morning, good afternoon or good evening, hope you're all fit and well, back again with a light-hearted look at the news from all over Thailand and Southeast Asia. So what are we looking at today? The cave premieres in Bangkok, all about the children that were trapped in this cave, you remember them? Bit of sad news, Cambodia's beloved princess has died, passed away. Most unfortunate. Thailand's deputy prime minister quoted as saying, don't mention the economy and it will go away. No, no, he really said that, I'm not making it up. Thailand's court disqualifies opposition leader of the Future Forward Party, MP. Chinese shipbuilders start work on the 411 million US dollar submarine. The U.S. signs new defense treaty with Thailand. Sweets with THC become smoking hot and plus they're illegal in Thailand. You can't get them. And from Mark Loveridge, we have a little bit of bat watching, which is very, very exciting. Stick around for that one. You'll love it. The very first movie centering around the cave rescue of 12 Thai schoolboy footballers and their coach made its world premiere on Saturday. When watching it, reports are that you cannot help but relive the tension and the fear they experienced. But then again, also, there was that sense of excitement and relief when it was all over. It is an inspiring movie and shows other people what it's like that when the world gets together, what they can achieve against all odds. And the whole world was behind that rescue. The new film puts its focus more on the rescue than on the children and the teacher that was trapped. There was a lot of detail of the rescue that the world was not told about, like the sedation of the kids and the background to the rescue. The cave is due for release on November the 28th, with further international markets to follow. And it is believed that Netflix is planning a complete series on the events. At the start of November, the public were allowed inside the opening section of the Tham Lung Caves for the first time since July last year's rescue. The area once rarely visited, it's in the Shang Rai area, has since become a major tourist attraction visited by a million tourists already. Johnny Siam reporting. Cambodia, Phnom Penh. Cambodia's princess. Nordom Bopa Devi, a former minister of culture who helped revive the traditional Aspara dance after the 1970s Khmer Rouge, the Killing Fields regime, wiped out the dance. Unfortunately, the princess passed away of natural causes in hospital, aged 76. Our condolences to the people of Cambodia. Johnny out. Words from the Thai Prime Minister Prayat Chinacha. I would like to apologise to the ministers. I've done my part to the best of my ability. Anyway, the country must move forward. And this government must move forward too. Some of Thailand's Deputy PM, some kids words of wisdom. If we keep talking about it, it will make good things look bad. And this will have wide repercussions. Thailand's Deputy Prime Minister, some kid, is urging the public not to discuss Thai economic problems too much, saying it could affect investors' confidence. Some kid was quoted as saying he will explain the economic slowdown if the opposition raises it at the census debate against the government, which is expected early next month. But asking Thais not to mention their dwindling economy that affects their pockets is a tall order. For many ties, I would expect, come to think of it, in any country. Some kids' remarks follow the National Economic and Social Development Council announcing a gloomy outlook for the Thai economy. Thailand's economy depends largely on its exports, 
and internal factors have a major impact on the domestic economy. Some kid was quoted as also saying, I don't think it's something to complain about. The most important thing is confidence. If we keep talking about it, it will make good things look bad and this will have wide repercussions. He also noted that many foreign investors are flying in for talks each week because they still believe Thailand's economic fundamentals are solid with a strong currency and prospects for recession very low. Some kid noted that the Thai economy is stable and has a chance to achieve year-end growth since growth traditionally improves in the fourth quarter in Thailand. So people, listen to the Deputy Prime Minister Sumkid of Thailand and don't talk about the economy and it will get better. Thailand court disqualifies opposition leader Thanaton Drunrun Rangkit as MP. The 40-year-old Thanaton, the leader of the Progressive Future Forward Party, has emerged as one of the most prominent oppositions of the Thai government, headed by former Janta leader Prayat Chinachup. After the new Future Forward Party came a surprise third in the elections in March. Tanaton, the leader of the Future Forward Party, was found on Wednesday to have broken election rules while owning shares in a media company while he campaigned in March's controversial general election. Despite the guilty verdict, Tanaton will escape prison and political ban, which supporters feared would hinder his party's future prospects. Do you think it will affect the future of the party itself? As the party no, there's this... This case is very personal. It's about the status of my um, um, of me being an MP. So there's nothing concerning the party. But do you still think that the court decision was politically motivated? Um, I believe so. Tanaton, the 40-year-old billionaire, is a strong opponent of the army's rule in politics, who has been highly criticised and highly critical of the administration headed by the former military government leader Prayat. Chinachup. The Future Forward Party came a surprising third in March's polls, proving particularly popular with young voters in the election that saw the pro-military party being declared the winner after the disputed ballot count. The court had earlier suspended Tanaton from Parliament pending the verdict of this case. The Future Forward Party leader also faces criminal charges, one for sedition, for allegedly aiding an anti-military government protest in 2015. We'll be interested to see how this develops over time. Chinese shipbuilders start working on the 411 million US submarine for the Thai Navy. Thailand purchased Chinese submarines, the country's first since World War II. China's leading shipbuilder firm started building a Type S260 submarine on Tuesday for the Royal Thai Navy, an important cooperative project between China and Thailand. Senior officials from Thailand Chinese military attended a steel cutting ceremony at the shipyards in Wuhan, capital of Hubei province, to mark the start of the project. The Royal Thai Navy agreed a 13.5 billion Thai baht or 411 million US dollars deal with CSIC for one S260 diesel electric submarine derived from the PLA Navy's Type 039B or the Yin class. The vessel is expected to be delivered by 2023. But coming across a strict opposition from back home, they decided just to order one. The class is designed to replace the aging Type 033 Romeo and the older Type 035 submarine that previously formed the backbone of the conventional submarine force. Others are less convinced about the deal. A retired admiral recently stated the money would be better spent on desperately needed patrol vessels and helicopters. 
And also the Thai Navy needs to remind it that they are surrounded by shallow waters. The submarine sale is the latest defence deal between Beijing and Bangkok, who have grown even closer since Thailand's 2014 coup. Talks are also underway for China to construct a military, multi-million dollar armament and military hardware repair facility in Thailand and once again has caused outrage in Thailand. Thailand's military famously purchased a small Spanish aircraft carrier in the 90s that now languishes in a port and has no aircraft. The aircraft carrier very rarely departs from the Satahip docking facility and the aircraft carrier leaves the docks once a month for training and exercise purposes and is also used to transport the royal family leading to claims by some naval commentators that the ship is merely an oversized royal yacht. Johnny Siam reporting. Defence treaty to continue in the 21st century. Prime Minister Ochenacha and US Secretary signed a treaty amid sustainability and prosperity in the Indo-Pacific region. The rules and basis on international order. Asked if the US was aimed to counter Chinese influence in Thailand, and Asiana was answered unlikely. The main objective was Thailand and the US have a long-term cooperation in defence. Johnny out. Johnny Siam reporting. Have you got a sweet tooth? A hot topic of sweets containing THC. The substance is popular in other countries mixing THC with snacks, jellies, chocolate and candy. The important use and possession of these sweets is not allowed and a violation of Thai law, but it has become a very hot topic on the social media standards. Johnny here. Hi there, Mark reporting for Talk Back Thailand, and now for something a little bit different. To get you off your bar stool, how do you fancy looking at bats? Tourists who are watching bats fly out of the Kan Kao Cave in search for food during dusk at Puma Man District in Kong Ken. It's something a little bit different to pass the early evening away before you hit the old Leo Chang or whatever your taste before you start drinking the local liquor. And it's apparently it's becoming very, very popular with tourists who sit there for about an hour watching all the bats come out of a cave. This is Mark reporting for Topak Thailand. <laughs>